Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if it's your first time here. My name is Mal and I make Tumblr tutorials here on YouTube. It is day nine of my 12 days of Christmas series. We are so close to the end, time is flying. <laughs> Today's video is a little bit different. I am not going to be doing a tutorial per se. This is more of just a kind of craft with me, watch me make this thing. <laughs> because I wasn't sure if I was actually going to post this video or not. So a few weeks ago, my mom and I were at Michael's just shopping around for craft supplies we probably don't need. And we saw these extra large nutcrackers and they immediately caught my eye because I saw Lauren Quigley's Instagram video where she did this super cool extra large nutcracker and I immediately thought, well, I have to do one too. So I got all of the supplies to make one and I was going back and forth on whether I wanted to post this in the 12 days of Christmas or not because I usually obviously make Tumblr tutorials and I don't usually do a lot of non-Tumblr stuff on this channel. So I was going back and forth, just didn't know. So my mom and I each got a nutcracker. We each got different ones and I decided to film it anyway. Didn't know if I was going to post it or not. So in the video, I'm kind of just having a good time making the nutcracker. I wasn't really thinking too much about filming it as a tutorial if that makes sense so i really hope you guys enjoy it anyway i had so much fun doing this we had a ball just figuring out what we were going to do with these guys and it was a really really fun christmas activity that we got to do together so if you want a christmas craft idea something you can do with your whole family or even if you just want to do something a little different than a tumbler i would run to michael's and grab one of these nutcrackers when i was there they were on sale for 60 percent off so it came out to be under $15 for the nutcracker and i just got a few extra supplies most of the stuff i used was glitter and paint which i obviously already have if you'd like to see the nutcracker that my mom created, be sure to stick around to the end of the video. I will show both of our nutcrackers side by side so you can have a little bit of inspiration just for some different things that you can do with these guys. I will list all of the glitters and everything that I use down below in the description box, but mostly everything other than the glitter and acrylic paint is from Michaels. I just walked around the craft section, picked up some rhinestones, and some feathers and things like that to embellish this guy but really you can do anything and everything you want you can decorate them with a theme you can decorate them according to your branding which is kind of what i did because they're just my favorite colors anyway so just really if you're going to do this let your creativity run wild have fun do all the colors do monochrome rhinestones glitter whatever you want. This was so, so, so much fun to do and would be the perfect Christmas craft to do with your family. Okay, I think I'm done yapping. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's go. All right, so here is my Nutcracker plane. So as you can see, they just come regular old wood from Michaels. Now I had some initial ideas that I thought I was going to incorporate on this guy and I ended up just not doing them. So I grabbed a whole bunch of glitter, which I did use. I grabbed these rhinestone strips that I also used. And then I also had some felt and some like glitter fabric paper stuff. And I thought that I would use that, but I really just liked how the glitter looked. So I ended up abandoning that plan, saving those for another craft day and just sticking with the glitter. So starting off here with his crown, I'm going to base paint it with some natural beige acrylic paint and glitter glue, of course. And I'm going to cover the entire crown with Athena from Peachy Olive Glitters. Now I decided to go with a pink and aqua color theme for this guy because those are the colors in my branding, but they are also just my favorite colors in general. And I thought when I was making this that if it turns out well, I can just keep this out in my studio year round. Um, which I am going to do because I really do like how he turned out. So I glittered the entire crown, including the inside little portions with Athena. And now I'm moving into the top portion of the crown. I'm going to base paint this with this beautiful turquoise acrylic paint. All of the acrylic paint I use, by the way, is the Delta Creative Ceram Coat brand. You can get it at Hobby Lobby or at Target. Um, it's really affordable and it has the best coverage of any acrylic paint I have 
ever used, honestly. So I'm painting his crown with that paint. I am gonna go back and glitter this later. I just wanted to put in a base coat for now. Once I had that portion of the crown done, I moved down to his sword. I'm going to base paint the handle of his sword with black acrylic paint, and then I'm gonna go down to his boots, and I'm going to paint those black as well. Once I had the boots painted, I moved up and did my first coat of paint on his face. Now, when I was working through this design and adding different elements, I ended up just kind of using his head as like my place to hold him. Um, this guy was really big and really awkward to work with, you know, and kind of hold and where you need it. So I ended up using his head as my like holding spot. So I got a few little flecks of paint where, you know, it shouldn't have been really. So I ended up doing another coat on that. But anyway, I let everything dry for about an hour to two hours. And now I'm going in and glittering the handle of his sword. For this section, I'm going to use Salty Beach from Peachy Olive Glitters. I switched my camera view up here because I was having a really hard time keeping everything in frame from the top down view. So you get to see my gorgeous, weird faces while I work with this guy. So anyway, I am moving down into the main part of his sword. Now I'm gonna base paint this with a mixture of gray acrylic paint and the Crystalac glitter glue. And I'm going to use Silver Bells from Create by Firefly as the glitter for his sparkly sword. I really tried to work as cleanly as possible while I was doing this. I didn't want to have a whole bunch of spots of glitter and everything where I didn't want it to be. So I did go in with a baby wipe and kind of clean up those areas as I went. So anyway, now I am going to work on his suit jacket. I am mixing, of course, a custom glitter mix for his upper half. So I used powerful and Delta Zeta, both from Create by Firefly, as well as Put Your Foot Down from Chase Ray Creations. I just mixed those all together to make a really bright, fun pink glitter for his top body. <laughs> I also glittered the little tops of his boots um, with Athena as well to match his crown. I'm gonna glitter his boots. I decided I was gonna glitter his boots. I wasn't going to, but his whole body is glittered. He's a glittery boy, so. So I set out to glitter his boots. I mixed some more black acrylic paint in with the Crystal Act glitter glue and just tried to be as careful as I could with that mixture. I didn't wanna get any black on the base. Um, I wanted to keep this really, really clean. So I just worked really slowly. There were some parts that I had a little bit thin coverage as you can see there. I just touched all of that up and then I let everything dry overnight. So then the next day I base painted his pants. I'm doing his pants, obviously, my aqua color. I made a custom glitter mix for this one as well. I mixed together Confident and Ray of Light, both from Create by Firefly, and I am using a mixture of that same turquoise acrylic paint we used for his crown and the Crystal Act glitter glue to apply it. I also went back up to his crown and glittered those two turquoise sections as well using the same glitter mix. Thank you. 
So now moving back down to the base of the Nutcracker, I'm gonna do one coat of just regular white acrylic paint, let that dry, and then I'll go in with acrylic paint and the glitter glue mixed together. And I'm going to use Lux from Create by Firefly for both the base of the Nutcracker as well as the little jewels on his crown. So we'll have the same glitter both on the top and the bottom. Okay, so I'm gonna let him dry for two hours and then I'm going to spray seal him with clear gloss from Rust-Oleum. I'll probably do like three coats just so it's like totally sturdy. Okay, dry well, little guy. Once my glitter was sealed, I let it sit for about an hour before I went in and added all of my final touches. So like I said, I touched up his face and his hands with the natural beige acrylic paint. And then I took some really light acrylic paint and just did some little blush marks on his face. I was unsure about that. <laughs> Then I got to work on his face. I found a big SVG pack on Etsy that had all of these different Nutcracker faces in it. Um, so I bought that and I cut it out of all of my vinyl. I decided to make his eyes blue. So I layered my vinyl first and then I very carefully applied it with transfer tape to the Nutcracker, just making sure I didn't peel up any paint or anything, making sure that that vinyl was stuck down really well. Look at that, I was getting really excited at this point because it was, really starting to come together. Then I added his mustache. I am using permanent vinyl here because I'm not gonna seal this vinyl, so I wanna use permanent to make sure that it stays on as long as possible. So now finally it's time to add all of our extra embellishments. So I'm gonna take some of these rhinestone strips and add them to his belt and to the cuffs on his jacket. I did have to layer a few different sizes to make sure that I filled in all of that space. I used some smaller rhinestones, some medium size, and then those big square ones that I used on his belt. Just made sure that everything was covered. And I did that on both arms obviously i just made them the same so that they would match i also added a little bit of those rhinestones to his sword to bedazzle that a little bit um, i wanted to add to something to his boots so i took these white rhinestones from diamond fire i just added three of those to each of his boots just in a little row so that they would look like you know laces or you know just a nice little detail on his boots then i went up and added some rhinestones to his crown and finally i added some feathers to the like nutcracker part as kind of a feather ascot i thought about adding the teeth of a nutcracker but those honestly kind of just freaked me out so i decided to just go with the feathers and i just used hot glue to adhere the feathers and here is my mom's toy soldier. She went all in with the detail here. She used all of these beautiful glitters, rhinestones, everything. She did a fantastic job. So these are our two Nutcracker guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to hit the thumbs up button down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are not already. And I will see you tomorrow for another video. Okay, love you. Bye.